Greetings and welcome to the beginning of our new series, Distant Cousins. In this series we will explore not only our home world, Nama Nasa, but will venture out to learn more about our neighboring worlds and moons including Remo, Spori, and Lachinia. We begin with Lachinia. We are all familiar with that distant star appearing just above the horizon glowing in the twilight of evening during the season of Yutaji. Who doesn't recall as children making a wish upon sighting it? As all adults know, that star is actually our sister world, Lachinia. Lachinia is known as a desert world and a place of extremes. A place of fire and ice, known for the blue color of its campfires and torches. Of its four territories and one reservation, the Khan territory is one of the most arid regions in all of Lachinia. Located in an outlying region of the Khan territory, is the notorious frontier, where only the hardiest of souls carve out a day-to-day -day existence, that can barely be referred to as a living. Here one finds misfits, pirates, nomads, outlaws, and farmers. Farmers because, due to the planet's geology, this region is the location of the majority of freshwater aquifers. Thus, this inhospitable environment has become the breadbasket of the entire planet. Lines of communication are maintained primarily through large caravans that range across the desert following trails established generations ago. This is augmented through the trade provided by the airships of the Owokan Conveyance, a network providing unofficial transportation of cargo and passengers. It should be noted that a more recent development is creating a profound change in the Anist region, namely, the discovery of the Rideau Sands, crystalline artifacts left behind in ancient, now dry, riverbeds. Very valuable, and the source of unimaginable power. Many farms were repurposed to process this new material, with the former farmers, becoming astoundingly wealthy as a result. This new source of wealth and energy is also the focal point of friction and inter-territory turmoil on the frontier with cross-border incursions becoming increasingly problematic. Recent disturbing reports claim Khan scouts have detected overflights by clandestine agents using airborne craft unknown to any Lacinian nation. At the nexus of this escalating tension is the little-known settlement of Anisth, formerly a simple crossroad way station that has rapidly become the main entry and exit point of the frontier. Goods and communication travel through here in all directions between the frontier and the rest of Lachinia. Meanwhile, the Fregasia of Anisth and its casinos are filled with spies, many of them acting as double agents. Here, a daily diet of intrigue is guaranteed. Anisth is a dangerous and dodgy place. Even the lowest Anisthian inhabitant can sense it. Something significant is in the offing. Significant and intriguing, indeed. That does it for this episode of Distant Cousins. Join us next time as we delve deeper into the escalating tensions on the Lacinian frontier and how the crisis is giving rise to unrest here on Nama Nasa. Until then this is Tristique saying. Thank you for watching the Nama NASA News Network.